Hello everyone and welcome back to Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Sanna. I'm Andreas and we are two Swedes and we love design. We really do and this video is actually the result of the many, many hours I spend on Instagram. So I'm gonna do the talking in mm -hmm. this one and you're just gonna play along. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea what this will be but... Uh, Great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, I love mm. design and I really enjoy seeing different mm. interiors, particularly inside people's homes. Yeah, that's... Is that, that creepy? Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's really interesting it and is. inspiring. Yeah, I'm always very, very curious to see what kind of designs people have chosen to surround themselves mm -hmm. with. So with that in mind, I concluded that these particular pieces of furniture mm. seem to be everyone's choice right now. Yeah. So I thought, let's make a video about it, because yeah. I have spotted some trends. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the Camaleonda modular sofa, mm -hmm. a design classic that, just, that was just relaunched and put into production for the first time since 1979. Mm -hmm. I'd say this is the most sought after sofa today and the mm -hmm. one I've seen the most. Yeah. I personally don't think it's that exciting. And I doubt it's very comfortable with such a low backrest. No, that's... Uh, I mean, you you can't really lean back no, and uh, like, feel comfortable, can you? It looks like it's like 20 centimeters tall or something. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the look of it, but I haven't sat in one. So, but what do you guys think? Do you, is it worth the hype or is it just... Just... Uh, I mean, it, it, it looks cool, but it... I wouldn't uh, use uh, half of my living room for it. Uh, mm. Exactly. It was designed by the very, very appreciated Italian designer Mario Bellini mm. in 1970 for B&B Italia. After it took part in an exhibition held at MoMA in 1972 called Italy and the New Domestic Landscape, <laughs> its popularity really took off and it sold very well. The idea behind it was to let people have complete freedom to create their own seating configurations. It was also made to look and be futuristic, mm. made with the modern material polyurethane foam. Yeah. <laughs> the relaunched version has the same dimensions and shape, but its inside have been given a more sustainable makeover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> if you want to buy this, uh, the least you're going to pay is three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars for the smallest section oh, yeah. and if you want to buy a three-piece sofa you'll have to pay around thirteen thousand dollars hmm. for canvas upholstery have in mind that leather is more expensive yeah. so if you want to buy many sections it will set you back quite a bit mm -hmm. <laughs> but you could and should buy it on auction and save some if you're lucky yeah but yeah it's a cool sofa but Perhaps not the coolest so far of ever. It's not no. the coolest. No, 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 no. Next up is the lady armchair. Mm -hmm. This curvy armchair is a true icon when it comes to modernist design. Hugely popular and often used in trendy people's interiors. Yeah, I'll take a look. I'll take a look here. What do you yeah. guys think about it? I think it's a bit boring, to be honest. Or is it because I've seen it? so freaking much I, I i do like this uh, this chair it's i, I like the, the 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 profile of it the yeah, the this yeah. kind of detail on the armrest um, uh, but i've also seen it in 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 a cartoon called gaston oh, uh, yeah. it's uh, the same as spiro cartoons uh, it's uh, they're often using this uh, this uh, okay. <laughs> chair and so, you like it so that's more. when I saw it the first time when I mm. was a small child and oh. <laughs> since then I really liked it uh, but you see it in interior magazines mm. and so on but I haven't seen it that many times uh, in live uh, for uh, no uh, me um, neither no me neither actually but movement. it's kind of cool <laughs> It was designed by Italian architect and designer Marco Sanuso already in 1951 mm. for manufacturing company Arflix. They started their collaboration with the purpose to create furniture with new material, <laughs> polyurethane foam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the armchair won a gold medal at the Milan Triennale at the, at the same year. Mm. 
Sanuso wanted to optimize the industrial mass production and make his furniture accessible mm. to more people, which he has in common with many other modernists. All of them. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> But that's not really what happened, is no. it? It's very expensive today and only accessible to the fancy people. Yeah. The Lady Armchair is from 2015, produced by Casina, mm. and the price ranges from... 3,600 to 6,500 dollars, depending on upholstery. Mm. On auction, it seems to be sold in a very wide price range. I couldn't find, like, uh, ballpark. No, no. So you could get lucky or you not so lucky. So, <laughs> yeah. But I always think you should buy it secondhand if possible. Yeah, and it's, it's of course, more fun to have an old, uh, old you chair. You always than, think that, yeah. but <laughs> not many people think that. Ah, okay, no, They want no, it new no. and no... But, Yucky stuff. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> But it is interesting, as you said, that all these designers wanted to create uh, furniture yeah. for the people, cheap furniture, and they all turned out to be expensive. Don't talk about my conclusion. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Next up is the DS1025 mm. or Terrazza Sofa. This funky looking sofa is very, very popular <laughs> to have as an eye-catching centerpiece mm. in a room I've seen. The shape of the sofa works well on its own, but even better together with others. So in many interiors, I've seen multiple sofas arranged in different ways. Mm -hmm. The shape also lets you sit in many different ways, which I think is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never sat in one, so I don't know if, it, if it's comfortable, but I think it is. Yeah, it And, looks... Or, uh... <laughs> Is it weird that it's like... Sloping yeah. down, uh, yeah, perhaps. Possibly, but it still looks amazing. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't really look like a sofa. <laughs> That's the thing. I'll come to that. Ah. It was designed by the Swiss designer, Ubalt Klug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Possibly. It's yeah. very difficult to, <laughs> to pronounce. For the Sede in the 70s. Mm. And it's intended to look like a literal pile of earth. Yeah, it, it does. It does. It's inspired by the slopes and mountains uh, in the Swiss Alps. Mm. And apparently there's these uh, horizontal terraces in the landscape. Yeah. So it's that's the inspiration. And the sofa is composed of seven different shaped cushions mm -hmm. on a rectangular base. Yeah. Uh, it's almost always upholstered in leather. Yeah. And I like that principle also, that it's like just a rectangular yeah, and you bottom. Can, but just still, you can place them in, in different uh, directions yeah. and then you can create uh, a furniture of your own. A landscape. Yeah, a landscape, sort of. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like a map. All these maps Ooh. you had to use when you were in, in school, when you had to go to the, uh, to the forest and... The, that yeah. makes me kind of down. Depressed. Yeah, yeah. actually. So <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a shame. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Newly produced by the CD, mm. the price starts at $11,600. The prices at auction varies a lot, but uh -huh. you can often get one for between $5,000 and $10,000. Mm. So if you want more than one, it'll cost you so much. Uh, several uh, tenth of thousands <laughs> of dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, yeah. It's super trendy. You see it everywhere. Yeah, mm. and we saw it in, in like the Hunger Games or was oh, it? Uh, yeah, yeah the, um, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> we're we're re-watching we the Hunger Games. <laughs> we did actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, moving on from that one. Next one is the Togo sofa hmm. and chair. Yeah. These are extremely <laughs> popular in all different kinds of interiors. Yeah, yeah. And for a good reason, I think. Yeah. It's got an unusual eye-catching shape and mm. it's very comfortable. Extremely comfortable, mm. yeah. The Togo series consists of many different shapes, sizes and colors, mm. so you can individualize it as you please. Mm. So I imagine like having many of them in, in different colors. Yeah, I'd that would be that. great. Uh, you don't see them in different no. colors, used, but it would be, look great and you could have them... Uh, but you know what? The no? people are bo boring. People are boring. But you should sorry. have no. them in different colors. Yeah. That would be much more fun. <laughs> yeah. I'd love that. We should get it. Yeah, and <laughs> it is comfortable. It is. Yeah. Is it a bed? Is it a is it a sofa? What is? Is it, it like uh, this in Sweden? We have sacko uh, Oh, it's, like, it's almost oh, like this. What's uh, it called? I'm not sure the English bean word. Beanbags. Uh, yeah, beanbags. Or is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> well, uh, moving on. Yeah, uh, um. it was designed in 1973 yeah. by the French seating designer Michel Ducarrois mm -hmm. for the high-end producer. 
Ligne Rosé. <laughs> Ligne Rosé, I would say, but yeah. I'm just so bad with French, I can't get over it. They started working together already in 1954, mm. and soon Ducarrois was one of the brand's best-known designers. Mm. He often used high-tech synthetic materials like foam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like in the Togo. Uh. This pillow-looking sofa and chair was introduced at an annual exhibition mm. in Paris, and soon his name was on the big international design scene. Yeah. The Togo series is still in production mm. today, <laughs> and yeah. it's been bought by over 1 million people worldwide. Oh, that's much. You can buy a newly produced chair or sofa for between uh, $2,400 and $7,700, mm. depending on upholstery and size, of course. Yeah. And you can get it for much less on auction, uh, but it could also be more expensive if it's old. So you have to be aware and yeah. like compare and... Yeah. But it's, I, I think it's a good thing to buy a whole sofa yeah. on auction because then you get this set. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. I often see, though, just the, the, the one piece. Mm, yeah, yeah. Not, as, not equally as often, the more. Or the three-seater. No, no. So, but maybe that is because it's expensive. Yeah, probably. You, you buy the cheapest one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think about it? Yeah, I uh, I think the best thing, thing with it is th that it's really comfortable and it's usable as a sofa. Are you not tired just of it? as a, no, no, I'm not. Mm. I think it's uh, it's uh, still as beautiful as the first, first uh, yeah, time I saw right. it. So yeah, it's very basic in the shape, but it's just uh, yeah. like I said, it's so unusual for a sofa to look like just a mm. yeah. And uh, it's very uh, uh, clean in the shape, and that's why yes. you don't get tired of it. That could be it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Last up is the Ultra Fragola mirror. <laughs> yeah. And this has been trendy for quite some time already, but I still see it everywhere on my feed. And honestly, I understand why. It's very photogenic, and it's probably the coolest mirror ever made, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is... It's not just a mirror. No? It's a lamp as well. Yeah. You get two in one. So, <laughs> of course, it's very flattering to take selfies with and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. You can't, like, you can't hate it. No, you can't. Uh, it's, it's. Uh, I mean... Beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to come to the best part. Okay. It was designed by uh, Italian Ettore Sozzas Jr. Yeah. in 1970 for the Italian furniture manufacturer company Poltronova, mm, yeah. a company that came to produce Italy's most daring designs of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. The mirror's shape was inspired by long and wavy hair. Yeah, I can see that. My uh, yeah. <laughs> I just love long and wavy hair. Yeah. Uh, it's made from... Oh, do you want to say something? No. Mm? Okay. Can... It's made from white acrylic mm. with pink neon lights. So it is white, but it becomes pink when, when you, you turn, you turn on. on the lights. Yeah, that's... that's uh, yeah. I just love it, actually. Yeah. <sighs> and it's very... When was it designed, did you say, in the 70s? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it almost like it looks like something from the 80s. But this it is does. like... Uh, uh, avant-garde of the mm. 70s so it it's it's uh, extremely cool it is so super cool yeah, yeah i yeah. see it everywhere and i'm not tired of it no, at all no 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 you want one yeah <laughs> it, it's <laughs> it's actually i'm great. gonna tell you how much it is so you uh, can buy one yeah it has been in production since 1970 mm. without interruptions so oh, yeah. you get that it's mm. freaking popular <laughs> yeah and if you want to buy it it you will have to pay ten thousand Dollars. Oh, that's a lot for a mirror. <laughs> well, you can get it for a bit less if you buy it on auction. Yeah. So you should do that. Mm. I always think you that. should do it anyway. You should it's do not it anyway because uh, you should always buy uh, used uh, things. <laughs> I really think you should. Yeah. To sum up, mm? it seems like Italian and French 1970s designs are the most sought after right now. Yeah. Yeah. Is that? yeah, I think so too. If you look at interior magazines or yeah. anywhere, you see these mm, pieces. Mm, mm, mm. They've got in common that they are all experimental mm -hmm. and made with new technologies and materials. Yeah. Like plastic, plastic. and foam. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, no wood Experimental things. textiles and so on. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. The designers wanted to create furniture for the future, mm. and clearly it worked very <laughs> yeah, well did. for all of them. 
Another common theme in the sofas is uh, choice, to be able to choose yeah. how many sections, which color, how to put them, mm. so on. Yeah. So that's like very individual. You 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 have a choice. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's good. And of course, uh, very practical because uh, you live in different uh, homes. Uh, so you, uh, you, can't you all need have a, the same. No, you need a sofa mm. adapted for yeah, the room. Yeah, yeah. And that's I like uh, that. It feels like futuristic. Yeah, so, I, yeah. so I get the vibe. <laughs> yeah. And today uh, these kind of sofas are uh, the, all new sofas almost are produced in that way. You can buy the just long That's true. you can buy yeah, uh, yeah. so they, they look a bit like this but uh, a bit more boring of yeah. course but uh, yeah they knew the trends before, yeah they, they they did all produced in the 70s yeah not the lady it, that was in the 50s yeah yeah in the 50s you get how long ago that was yeah it was but uh, crazy crazy yeah <laughs> well what do you guys think about these iconic trendy pieces? Please tell us in the comments down below. Yeah, do so. Mm. Um, and uh, of course, if you like this episode, please click thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, and follow us on Instagram. We are called Scandinavian Design 101 and we will post the latest trends and also <laughs> things not in trend for, yeah, <laughs> for the moment. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank watching. Thank you.